All right, welcome to Greg's Stone Yard. So this is a uh, 1982, I think. Heister, 15,000 pound forklift. I've got a leaky tilt cylinder here. So the idea today is to get that off and repack it. Uh, two years ago, I removed the uh, main cylinder and I uh, put that into a place that specializes in rebuilding hydraulic cylinders just because of the, the size of it. I had them do it. Uh, that cost a small fortune because they re-chromed the rod. So that was, I think, almost $3,000 by the time I <laughs> finished. Um, so right now I'm just, uh, it's a four inch bore with a 1.75 inch rod. Uh, it uses one of these uh, tools for the to undo this cap here to undo the cap and it's uh, three inches for this distance here between the two pinholes so I got this OTC uh, gland tool I guess you call it I went with the name brand because uh, the reviews of all the cheap ones on Amazon weren't that great. So hopefully it goes okay. Um, I'm a little unsure how to get this apart. Um, what I'm first going to do is pull this pin and then uh, use the hydraulics to bring the rod back in. And then... Uh, Hopefully, I don't need to take this off of the rod. But just in case, I've measured it and it's about uh, 5 eighths this distance right here. So I can set that back up easily enough. Plus, I, I scribed it to find the line. Uh, we're, right now, there's a 3 16 set screw in here. So I'm just taking that out. And then once I get that out, I will try to undo it with uh, this big thing here. Okay, that uh, went surprisingly easy. You can see it's uh, it's loose here. Didn't take much effort at all. I probably got away with a cheap uh, one of these tools. So right now I'm gonna just tighten that back up and remove this pin and see if I can draw this in. Okay, the pin came out fairly easy, which is good luck. Um, now I'm going to start it up, bring this back in so that this will drop free here, and then uh, I don't know what I'll do next after that, but that's the plan. Okay, so the lines are off, pins out. Took a strap, a ratchet strap. It's 
see I've hooked it to the <laughs> overhead cage there. And now I'm gonna see if I can I can just uh, tighten that up and get the the rod to pull out. It's just right at the, where the threads are, so the piston's a bit hard to get out there. There's the uh, setup to get it off. And, uh, on the bench, it's looking like there's a uh, roll pin holding this nut on. So that'll make it easier for uh, torquing back on. So I am going to uh, pound out that roll pin and uh, keep going here. No problem. This nut appears to be one and thirteen sixteenths. Because one and three quarters is too small. And one and seven eighths is too big. And of course, I don't have a, a one and thirteen sixteenths. So uh, hopefully, because this just uses a roll pin, uh, it's not torqued super tight. So I'm going to uh, figure a way to hold this and then see if I can do it with a big adjustable. Okay, the nut's off, or loose anyway. It's off, I'm gonna take a picture of this so I make sure it goes back on the right way and then uh, I'll clean up this area here and start uh, taking this apart. Okay, this came off. In that direction, there's this O-ring right here. I believe it's meant to fit in here. I'm not sure if my kit comes with. See, this this comes off. So I don't know if my kit comes with that. To double check. There are some numbers written on here. Anyway, that's off. I'll pull the O-ring, this guy, and the rest of this off. Okay, it looks like there's a uh, thicker and a thinner o-ring here this definitely has you can see it's machined it's machined on that there so it has to face where that o-ring was in here so i'm going kind of at this kind of slow just make sure i put it all back together correctly
tap here, there's a wiper there as well. And then one inside here. Okay, well, uh, this came out of there, but then after I got it out, I found that this cap just comes right out of here. So that'll make putting the new one in easier. And there's the one that came out of here. And it's looking like my kit does come with uh, at least some of that. So uh, I'll take that apart next. Here's the kit number. So that's the that's the parts in the kit. So it looks like it matches up with the existing stack there. And the rest of the seals look like they match up with what I've got here. So I will continue to Assemble. Now I'll clean everything up and then I'll assemble. You just have all the uh, new seals laid out here. A little bit of that uh, light hydraulic fluid to uh, coat the seals in. Uh, the only thing I can't remember is which way this goes in. I think it's this way. But I'm not sure. I'm going to have to double check. So once I do that, I'll uh, start assembling this. Okay, it's back together. Just cleaned out the uh, tube. So I think I'm gonna put the tube back on the uh, forklift and then bring this over and install it while it's on the forklift.
Okay, it is in place except for I've got to retract it a bit to get uh, this in. So I'm just going to use the hydraulics for that. So we'll start it up here and a little. Okay, no leaks. And now I have to do the other side. Because it's leaking as well. So, I don't bother uh, filming all that. There just looks like somebody chewed this up, so we'll have to uh, I'm gonna grind that first so that the. Uh, that. Uh, wrench spanner wrench fits on there better but under, other than that it's uh, rinse and repeat yeah, that's my first hydraulic cylinder that i rebuilt so this side <laughs> proved to be difficult to get this cap off uh i broke a bit taking the set screw out i could not get that piece out so i had to get out the big air gun and I peened on here with it first and then I used it to get it loose and it's loose now and I used it like here to get it loose mangled it all up I'm gonna have to do something weld that up weld the holes up and redrill them or something huh, but it's loose This cylinder seems to have a slightly different piston configuration. Hopefully the seals I got work. If not, uh, this is the part until I can get the correct seals. So this is the second tilt cylinder. And I don't know if you can see that, but there's red lock tight all in there and uh, so I wasn't able to get it off with the wrench but I uh, thanks to Amazon got myself a 1 in 13 16 
socket. $44 for those four sockets overnighted. Uh, so, I'm going to give it a try here with the air gun. If that doesn't take it off, uh, I'm going to heat it up, which I'll probably have to do, but we'll give it one try with the uh, air gun. Well, it came off. There's the, the nut. I don't know if they staked it or what, but anyway, it uh, came off. Okay. Completely different than my other one. In this gland part here, I just took out this stack six of those in here and there's another another one in there <sighs> and this one had these two on here So ring. This piston's completely different. So the kit I have will not work at all. Maybe that O ring. That's about it. So anyways, I'm gonna get that seal out of there, then clean this all up because it's all got rust on it and everything. So I gotta get these two out still. They might be the same as my other other kit, but I don't think so. Anyway, I will uh, keep going here. I'll just clean this up. the wire wheel there it's a bit beat up but I don't have much other choice all well, the rust came off so now I just have to find those seals for it this is just mangled So, I am going to clean it up and then I think I will try and weld it up and drill new holes for tightening and loosening it. Just drilled out these holes to three eighths. I think they were the five sixteenths before. So this is this tool has three eighths and five sixteenths dowels. And the three eighths ones fit in there nice. Now, so whether or not I try to weld this up. I think I might fucking find something to stick in there. A brass a piece of brass or something so that I get a nice weld here and not uh, screw up this hole. I'm a bit stupid here and uh, cleaned up this with the wire wheel cylinder so now I gotta paint it. But I'm gonna put it together first then paint it. 
got uh, the new seals. So these ones go inside here. That's the ones that came out. And there's a new seal that this one that goes in the bottom here in this groove. And then this one goes in here. These are my new, I welded up these holes. Got them looking a bit better. Ah, so I'm gonna do that. Get this back, put this in, get this back together, and then paint it. So another one I had a hard time getting the gland down past the threads. Uh, what I did with that one, I just put in these half inch nuts here so I could kind of tap down on the threaded cap here and force this down in. So I'll try that now and see how it goes. Okay, I'm gonna pull these out now. I got it. Got it down below enough. I should be able to start the threads and then use this to push the, uh, the gland the rest of the way down to where it seats. That's the plan. Okay, Captain. Started okay. Bit awkward with that tool, but it's in. So now uh, paint. I just wrapped a rapid stretch around here. Back to the support there, just to pu pull the uh, carriage back in line to get that uh, that pin in. So now I just got to remember to pull that wood out, and then I can test it. Thank you. 
So they seem to work well. No leaks. Either side, that stone that was on there was at least uh, 10,000 pounds, probably more like 12 to 13. No leak on this side. I feel pretty stupid. I didn't paint that one when I had it off now. So uh, <laughs> I may take it off again and paint it, but we'll see. 